This reading is for my beautiful Virgos. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. So we have spiritual practices, becoming aware to intuition and guides, meditating, releasing self-limited beliefs, working on inner healing and issues with codependency. So you guys can have like a spiritual practice. Maybe you do something in divination or you guys are very spiritual. Two or five breaking down to a seven. Yeah, you guys are tapping into your higher self. Somebody sees you as you shining. Somebody, that's why I, I picked up earlier. Somebody feels like you're standing in your power, sun seeds. And it's, it's really like, it's giving you like this glow, this shine about you. You could be very attractive, uh, very beautiful, or very handsome. Divine feminine, divine masculine. But it's something about you standing in like, you know, um... You just, it's giving me like, you you standing in this awareness energy, like, um, you know, higher self intuition, you know, meditating, um, releasing all of these self limited beliefs. It's like, somebody like, damn, person shining, like somebody like, you shining. And somebody's imagining, and they was with you, like how they feel like you guys could shine together. Mm. I'm hearing what I gotta do to get next to that energy. So you can be very reserved with your energy. Maybe you're hard to reach, hard to you know, um, you know, get close to. Yeah, a small offering under the bottom. Let's see. Give me more Holy Spirit. Ooh, okay. Mm, okay, so we have. Terminus, getting into trouble in various ways, plagued by depression, addictions, unstable, very difficult, um, very um, very difficult time loving themselves and others. Wow. What's that? Seven and two breaking down to a nine. So this could have been somebody you released. This could have been somebody from your past who was a runner. Yeah. Um, awkward knowledge. Um, this is somebody, um, open my, um, awkward knowledge, open mind, open minded to the connection, researching and understanding this deep cosmetic, con um, cosmic connection, wilderness to be open and understanding of this connection. So this is somebody who you either, um, seven or two breaking down or nine. This is somebody who could be, um, that you released, walked away from, or oh, this person could be going through a dark night of the soul. Mm-hmm. Because somebody is admired by you. Somebody feels like you're standing in your power and you're shining. And somebody is admired by that. Okay? This person could have, um, like I said, what it says, get into trouble in various ways. This could have been somebody who got in trouble a lot or suffer from depression or addictions. And somebody is seeing like, well, I see Mr. Sunflower Collector Sun is at peace. You know, they, um, it, it takes a lot. It takes a lot for you to like, um, you know, get out of character. And for some of you guys, you still don't even get out of character. Um, you just um, at peace with life, okay? And not not that because everything around you, the worldly things, um, maybe um, maybe giving you peace. I, I feel like it comes from within. Somebody watch you. Somebody's watching you closely. And with the um, awkward knowledge, somebody is researching something about you. Somebody is um now going with them. You was a, you you helped this person. Um, this cosmic um connection, like somebody is um trying to understand and do research to understand why they have like this deep connection to you, why they have this strong drawn to you, like why they're so drawn to you the way they are. Because I feel like you could be a teacher with spiritual prayer, you could be a teacher, um, a leader, you do something in divination, um, you, whatever this practice is, you're a teacher. And, and, and actually, whoever this person is, they're a student. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who who was um, sent your way mm -hmm, that has a lot of problems, you know, in their life. And um, they want help. And you are this person. You probably don't even know this person who you, who you helping. But this is somebody who's going with them with the knowledge. They try to understand. Somebody's trying to understand why you're so rare, I just heard. 
Why are you so rare? One and eight, break it down to a nine. So we have nine, nine out here. This is death in a rebirth. Yeah. Scorpio energy. You don't have to be a Scorpio, but somebody could be in that energy right now. It's giving me the death card. Yeah, ego driven. Somebody's having a death of the ego. Acting one's own self-interest. Driven by need to prove oneself better than others. Does not truly love the person, but loves more what the person can give to them. Wow. So this person is being forced. You see how this man is looking at this phone and you see how it's their face? Somebody, <laughs> that's not funny. Somebody is looking at them own self and they're not happy what they see. One is seven breaking down to an eight. Yeah, somebody is having a death of the ego. Mm hmm Somebody seeing you standing in your power is shining. And I heard earlier somebody feels like if you guys were together, you guys like we, we could sh like we could shine together. So this person is going through a death and rebirth. Ego driven. Yeah. Mm hmm Visionary. So we have visionary, feeling hopeful, empowered. Thinking positively, moving forward, beginning to think about or plan in the future with imagination or wisdom. So we have another nine here, three and six breaking down to a nine. Nine, 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 yes. There's a, a death and a rebirth. Somebody's going through a major transformation in their life. Um, and it's going to put them on, 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 a, on a beautiful path. So whoever this person is... Um, like I said, it could be just a student, but I'm picking up one. Um, this could be somebody who you're supposed to be in a relationship with, or it could, you could be a separation, or something could be paused and delayed because somebody is going through a death and rebirth. Like with this visionary, it's giving me like you're you're a seer. Like you could see things like before it even happened. Like you just you just have this inner knowing. And with the spiritual practices, it could be like you know um, these spiritual gifts that you have. I feel like you're feeling hopeful about the future. Um, and you, you're just somebody who always remains positive. Even in the situations where everybody around you could be like, oh my God, panicking. It's like you're, you you remain um, positive. And maybe because you're someone who meditates a lot. Yeah. Uh, wow. I, I just heard somebody, somebody wants to be like you. Yeah, look, divine masculine. Clarity of focus, generosity of heart, powerful presence, um, ambitious discipline, largeness of mind, risk taken, strength of body, and resolve difficulties. Yeah, action oriented. So this is your divine masculine. Your divine masculine, um, four and zero on this card. Your divine masculine is going through a death and rebirth. Yeah. This person could have, it says deny you of connection. This person could have been in denial. You. Maybe somebody felt like um, you guys have had two different beliefs. Somebody also could have felt like you were difficult. Maybe you someone, like I said, I think you're like a seer. You can see things before it happened. Maybe you called this person out or told this person or um, for ones who don't even know this person yet, you could have just said something and it, and it did something to this person. And now this person is looking like, why do I have this strong drawing or this pull to this person? Like, now this person is studying and researching, trying to understand this deep connection that you guys share, whoever you're divine masculine. But they was once in denial about this connection, three and four breaking down to a seven. Somebody feels like something that you say or, or, or um, somebody feels like nobody knows them the way you do. And that could very much trigger this person. It says a night of connection. Too fast, too soon. There's another person involved. Not ready for this deep connection. Wrong timing. Slash can't or won't commit. Afraid of hurting you or hurting themselves. But now somebody is studying and want to know why they so drawn. Because now somebody felt like you was made just for them. But they was once in denial of this connection. Somebody actually admired you. Yeah, but they had to do the inner child healing. Mm -hmm. and that's what it is. Because if someone triggers you, and you know, if somebody says something and it triggers you, 
Nine times out of ten, there's an unhealed wound that's sitting dormant in, in, inside of you that you need to heal. Okay? Because if it if it if it if it's not nothing that you need to heal, why are you so triggered? You know? It's something about this person's inner child healing. Two and three break it down to a five. This person is going through changes. Going inside to explore, explore your authentic side, your feelings and parts of you that may have been rejected and labeled as inappropriate or too much to handle by others especially by your caregivers somebody could have felt like their mother didn't love them their father didn't love them a guardian of theirs didn't love them and somebody feels like why do you love me you know when when when, when i when i'm the way i am and i'm in my ego you know people don't check me you know people don't tell me i'm wrong people just like let me be and 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 you know they deal with me not you, not you. You look at that. You look at whatever, whatever's doormat in them, whatever that, whatever that, that, that issue, that, that, that demon or, or that unhealed wound. You look, you look at it right there, and you call that person out. You know, and you say you can say it in the most peaceful way, but you call it out. Somebody is not used to. Somebody is used to people telling them everything that they want to hear. They're not used to being called out, and then having someone in this beautiful, peaceful, meditated you know, um, um, energy like yours, like, like, damn it, you so calm. Wow. So something about that inner child. Yeah, that's what it is. You triggered that part of them. And that's why they was in denial of this connection. Somebody felt like you could have confirmation. You could have been too difficult to get along with because you call them out. Like, yo, you know, that's not right. You know? Maybe you need to do this better. This is somebody who's used to people feeding their ego. You ain't going to do that. For one, you don't even have an ego. Okay? <laughs> like, you're not going to feed this person's ego. Somebody is actually looking back at themselves on this phone, and the person that they see it, it's like, somebody actually looking at themselves like, they don't like it. Like, they're a joke. Yeah, this person could have been a runner. Definitely. The runner. Afraid of doing the work and selfish. Fears change, the unknown, afraid of intimacy or unawakening, doesn't feel worthy of your time, energy, and needs consistent validation. This person don't even feel worthy of you. Somebody don't even, uh, they don't even understand how, how you're able to deal with them and, and to be around, because somebody feels like you in your power, you shine, and they constantly think like, well, if I was with this energy, we could shine together. But this is somebody who feels like they don't even feel deserving of you. But it's something about, I feel like you brought some type of awareness to this person, you know? And this person is used to people giving up on them or abandoning them, okay? You didn't abandon them. All you did was just tell this person, well, you know, what they need to go with it and heal. Or you said something that triggered this person. Yeah, this is this person was the runner. Intuition, I'm telling you, intuition, light bulb, moments of realization, direct knowledge from source without rational door, a deep knowing and understanding without evidence. That is you. That is you. You could definitely be a leader, a teacher, uh, a guide to others. You will sit this person's way to help them. This person who has like this victim mentality. You know, this person feels stuck and, and trapped in their negative thoughts. You know, uh, this person constantly thinks life is against them and has um, difficulty coping with things. You know, um, again, five and four, break it down to nine. You got four nines out here. This is somebody that's like, if, if you know, if people don't agree with me or they say something that... um. If they're not like a yes ma'am or or yes sir, um, they're against me. Everybody's against me. Nah, so you just called them out, you know? And they didn't like it. But it's not your job to please what they like, you know? You got a higher purpose here, you know? You were sitting in this person's life to help them, okay? You could be being very patient with this person, you know? Or was very patient with this person. This person wants your forgiveness. They want to bring you some type of small offering. I can't make it up. What did I... Look. 
great source of power. Look, you guys are supposed to be a power couple. Yes. Somebody is somebody is researching why they're so drawn to you. Mm, mm, mm. It says the dream team of change. The dream team of change. Reunion creates growth. Okay? You guys are supposed to work together. This person knows two and seven break it down to another nine. I gotta see another nine. <laughs> Somebody's gonna do a death and rebirth. So it's, it's all about being patient because somebody is getting, you know, most likely divine feminine, you know, you could, this is definitely you. A lot of divine feminists wake up way before, you know, they, 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 um, they, the divine masculine, you know, but that's okay. As long as they get there, you know, it's all about patience and the divine timing right now while a death birth, a death and rebirth is that, is at hand, but there's a small offering here. Okay. Breaking barriers, realizing the truth, realizing the truth with the understanding you must push forward with the connection, removing obstacles. Ooh, spirit bird confirmation. Removing obstacles that cause culture differences, family situations, or sexual um, differences. So, this person could be like, Maybe this is somebody that's like super masculine. Like, no, a woman can't tell me. You know, a man knows it all, and I'd be dumb if I could if I, if I bow down to a woman and let a woman think I'm right. Or this could be a woman that's like, ain't no man gonna tell me what to do. Mm -mm -mm. I ain't had no father. No father ain't no 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 man ain't gonna ever tell me what to do. I know what. I, so whoever I'm picking, this is somebody who who just wants to like have this 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 complex energy like this like their guard you know they're right you know like nah you're not so somebody breaking the barriers mm -hmm. mirroring nature great sources of reflection and growth willingness to understand okay and connect they show you your deepest fears insecurities and shadows through your actions what did i tell you son sees Look at this card with this ego driven. Somebody is looking at themselves in the mirror or on this phone and they're like, oh my God, I don't like what I see. No. You um, you were sent to this person like to help them. And I know you're probably like, but damn, it's so difficult, mystic, sunflower. Like, but this is your divine masculine. Uh, listen, don't beat me up in the comments now. This is your divine masculine. But you were sent in to help this person. Yep. Look, surrender. Surrender soulmate. I cannot make it up. This is your soulmate, Sunseeds. This is your soulmate. For some of you guys, maybe you didn't even meet this person yet, but this is what they're going through right now, okay? So you could be like, well, damn, I watch your readings and they say my soulmate coming in, but you know where they at? This is what they're going through right now. This is what they're going through. Surrender. Not resisting, but going with the flow. May feel mentally and physically relaxed. Letting go of judgment and being mindful of the present. Somebody is now surrendering. Six and four, break it down to a ten. Okay? So maybe you still want, um, I, um, you're, not very, you're not judgmental. Um, you know, you're not judging this person because at one time, we all was at, at one point of our life before this awakening as well. You know, we didn't just wake up and it was divine. No, okay? You, I mean, you might have always had a calling over your life or, you know, you was chosen, but, you know, um, you didn't wake up. You know, you had to go through some changes and, 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 and adversity in your life, you know, to, to get you to, you know, tap into your higher self, you know, and your purpose and... You know, because like I always say, people be thinking, oh, because, you know, people with divine beings, they don't go through anything. Oh, you're so perfect. No, life is not going to ever be perfect for anyone. The only thing is someone who is, who, who's constantly open to healing and, and went through their awakening is the fact that they know that challenges is going to come up. You know, it's all about learning how to look those challenges in the, in the face and be able to deal with them in a certain way and not the way that you used to do when you was in your South Node. You know, it's all about, um, you know, how you react to them, you know? Maybe before your past, you probably would panic. Oh my God, oh my God, like, oh, 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 anxiety and all of that. Now, just like, you know, you pray, you meditate, you know, um, 
you do whatever you, you know whatever that whatever you know what you do to make you feel better you know and you understand that uh, um a lot of this is, is all about higher power and, and um you know and purpose you know um nothing is just being done just to be done you know so again this is your soulmate um, needs are equally met. Challenge you to be more giving and loving. You challenge this person, okay? I feel like both of you guys, it could be a challenge for both of you guys. You could be feeling like, well, you know what? I'm not I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not this person's enemy. I'm not trying to hurt this person. I'm just trying to, you know, tell them what they're doing, you know. It, it, it's, it's not good. And it, it doesn't have to mean that it's not good to me, but it's not healthy for them as a person because you should want to be, you, you should want to be a bet, better person, you know? First, you want to be better for you before you can be better for anyone. So this relationship could challenge both of you guys. And for some, maybe you, maybe you may be somebody um who's learning patience. Maybe in your past life you had difficulties with patience. But with this connection right here, you have to be patient because it's in the oven right now. Okay. And with this, with with this, with your person, you know, this is not somebody who's used to being called out. Okay. So again, challenge you, challenge you to be more giving and loving, deeply connected without the codependency or needless. Surrender, soulmate, and future focus. Mm -hmm. And rebuild it. So your person is going to be very focused on rebuilding um, their future, you and your person. Um, angel numbers and symbols. Okay. So you guys can be seeing a lot of angel numbers at this time. Positive moving forward, divinely guided towards union. Multiple messages through different forms. You can be seeing on um, 999, 888, 444, 1111, 111, 101, um, 222, um, 555, 1010. Okay. But we have the chaser. So, yeah. So, so we got um yeah somebody could um maybe this one of this person is that was once the runner now wants to come in and, and bring you a small offer now this person wants to chase you I feel like this person feels like they got a lot to explain to you you know somebody is actually is, is, is realizing and looking at themselves like I don't even like this person who I am you know you know so how can I how can I accept somebody else to deal with me yeah. Masquerade and Twin Flame. Family ties. Holy Spirit, what's this big... Oh. Well, damn, this card went... Okay, so this person's watching you. <laughs> watching Divine Feminine. <laughs> Divine Feminine. This person is... I'm telling you, they're watching you. Something that you say is something that, you know, whatever you do... Maybe you have like a platform or you do something on social media, TikTok, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, something that you do at um, Divine Feminine. This person is watching you. They're watching you closely. It's something that you say. Somebody knows that something that you're saying is the truth. It says watching, create fake accounts to stay up to date, but tends not to care, but become obsessive. Late night scrolling on social media platforms. Wow. Mm -hmm. There's somebody who pretend not to care, pretend to be unbothered, but there's somebody who watches you all the time, Divine Feminine. It's a beautiful, beautiful art on this picture. Divine Feminine, compassionate, um, loving, loves life, soft, understand, understanding, insight, um, empath, creative, birth, renewal, healing, restoration, acceptance, connection, oneness, and nurturing growth. Yeah. I feel like you 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 you're very nurturing, very loving, you're very caring, divine feminine. But it's something about this person where they just didn't like when you you know you check me though. And if like you ain't out here about to be no people pleaser to nobody and telling nobody what they want to hear. You ain't about to do that. For one, you are you can't be doing that. Uh-uh. You ain't about to tell this person what they want to hear to fill their goddamn ego up. And, and then that puts you out of alignment with the universe. Cause that's not how it works. It has to be equal. You have to be able to be your true authentic self. And if something is not right, you can't be biting your tongue and, and just allowing your partner to think what they're doing is okay. No. Why would you want to be put out of alignment? Okay? And I ain't playing with you, Divine Family. You over here drinking your Kool-Aid. Okay, 
being a magical muse. <laughs> what? So this person, hmm, what's this watching? Anything else Holy Spirit watching? So whoever was watching you is this person that's in you in separation from. Okay. Someone runs away. Honeymoon phase ends. So somebody could have ran away right in the beginning. Right in your honeymoon phase. Insecurities, attachment issues begin to appear causing a rift in your relationship. Mm. Four. Four, four, four. You guys are very protected. Things about to be balanced out. Yeah, this person was unawake there. Mm. Let me get some. Somebody loves how 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 you are. Like the vibe feminine. I feel like you very reserved. This is <laughs> somebody just loves the way how you hold it down. Like how you like Somebody just love how you are you. Somebody just see you in your power. They just like, damn. Like, that person's shining. I know we could be shining together. <laughs> but look, I cracked the deck on lovers and two of cups. I cannot make this up. This is a soulmate connection. And they coming in. They are. Yes. And they're about to get balanced. What I tell you? The death card. I can't make it up. The death card into a pinnacles. Okay. Yeah, this person has to get um get balanced, you know? Yeah, but with the eight of um pinnacles and the will of fortune, this person is working on themselves. Okay. For this change. This change is coming in. This person could be wanting to communicate to you, talk to you. Because the two of pinnacles usually give me like a foam as well. So you have four major arcanas already out here. Okay. And it's only six cards, okay? So there's a major death and rebirth when it comes to the soulmate connection, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh. That went is so anything. Spirit, can I have a card on the Wheel of Fortune? The Wheel of Fortune. Yes, the star card. <laughs> Look, somebody's going to get their wish. They are, you know? Mm-hmm. The chariot. I love it. Things are, things are going to move good for you guys. It's all about time and patience. But this person, like, oh, hell no. I ain't never, I ain't never uh, feel no no deep, um, you know, cosmic connection like this. Like, you got this person, like, what the hell? What the? Somebody, you <laughs> right, like, <laughs> you got this person researching, disconnected. This person's like, uh-uh, heck no, I ain't ever feel like this before. The vibe feminine, the vibe best, what which I tell to the people. So we have Gemini, Scorpio, Aquarius out here, Earth sign. So we have Eight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune to the Star. Yes. Um, there's definitely a wish that's coming in. It's faded. You know, it, it was faded for you guys to meet each other past. <clears throat> Can I have a card on the Two of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Two of Pentacles is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person just overthinks. Like, this could be somebody who thinks, like, has, like, this fog, foggy vision, like, this foggy mind. Like, they, you know, they, they think negative. Like, you know, instead of looking at the, the positive side of it or, or why this happened or maybe this person was right and not being so defensive. This is somebody who, who has to create illusions that's not even real. And it puts them out of balance, you know? Yes, I cannot make it up the moon card. Give me a card on the moon. Yeah, they like to create things that are not real. What's the moon, Holy Spirit? The Ten of Pentacles wanted to pop out. The moon. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The moon is clarified with the Two of Swords. I'm telling you. Somebody just refused to listen to their intuition. Look at them blindfolds over her eyes. It's like somebody's blocking their own intuition. And they're making this rebirth even harder than what it had to be. The justice to the six of wands, you know? Everything's going to work out. Everything's going to be fair. Everything's going to be balanced. Somebody is just making it harder than what it has to be. 
You know, and, and to, that's what Spirit said. Yes, it's surrender. Surrender came out. You know, just, I don't know who your person is. They got a hard head, he's stubborn. What's the death card? But now I do see this person deciding to surrender and go with that. This body just feels like we could shine together. Yeah, the death card is clarified with the five of pentacles. I feel like they are having to let go people, places, and things. You know, in their life. This person could be being stripped away. Maybe this person feels like they don't have much right now. Okay, um, have much to offer you. That's why somebody could be feeling like they're undeserving of you. Ten of Wands. Maybe this person have a lot of responsibilities. But it's very. But if this person was somebody who valued worldly things, and this, if this was somebody that was like, my life is only peaceful if I got everything I need. But if I ain't got anything I need, then uh, uh. See, no, that's what. No, 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 no. No. And so spirit's like, all right. So if you only got peace. And uh, only when you got everything that you want, then I'm going to strip you of everything to tear you down because the way how you was moving was not right. Somebody is not understanding it. But see, with you with spiritual practices and intuition, you already know. You already can see, you know. Maybe you tried to help this person in so many ways, you know. It's something about this person's heart chakra as well, you know. Somebody could be angry because they don't have you, you know. Just like... Their abundance is attached to their heart. Their heart could have been real closed off. Whoever your emperor is. Yeah. Give me another card on the Five of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. I can't make it up. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the damn truth. That's the damn truth. Five of Wands, Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. The Magician to the High Friend. Yeah, the Devil. Maybe this person was in a, um, a marriage or a connection before you that was real dramatic. Mm hmm. That they walked away from. So this person could be easily triggered. Or this person could just, give me a card on the Queen of Pentacles. This person could have been like competing with you because they feel like you're stable, you have it together. Somebody feels like they're not deserving of you. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Because they somebody left at like a honeymoon stage, like right in the beginning. Yeah, nine of wands. Because they, they, they was insecure. Four of wands because you stable. King of Pentacles, nine of swords. This, this connection give this person anxiety, like anxiety, okay? <laughs> What's the five of wands, Holy Spirit? <laughs> Ace of cups. <laughs> Ooh, four of cups. Somebody could have definitely rejected your love because they felt like this somebody who don't, who don't, who, who, who feels like a connection shouldn't be no conflict, no drama. And that's not even realistic. Not when it comes to business, um, business relationships, romantic, family. Like, somebody don't, uh-uh. They feel like, ooh, this is, it's giving me like real alpha energy. Yeah. Four, four pinnacles, five of cups, four of cups. Now this person re re regrets holding back from you. Holding back from this love. What's the Ace of Cups? What's the Ace of Cups? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Yeah, King of Swords to the Six of Cups. High Priestess. You know some type of truth about this person from a past. And it could be with this. It could be their inner child. And you called them out. And it caused some type of um, conflict or drama or argument. Yeah. And somebody don't like the fact that you, you, you with this intuition and spiritual practice, you're highly intuitive. Somebody didn't like that. Ten of Cups to the King of Cups, Page of Wands. I'm telling you, but this person wants to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Somebody want to, yeah, they want this to work. This person knows that they're in love with you and you make them happy. Yeah, Three of Cups to the Page of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Give me a card on the High Priestess and Spirit. High Priestess. Thank you. Four cards. They ignored their intuition about you. Mm -hmm. They didn't listen to their intuition when it came to you. Page of Swords. Now they watch you and study you. And it's like, damn. Like, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine just didn't have any power. They shining. And somebody feels like, but damn. We supposed to be we supposed to shine together, babe. <laughs> four swords, yeah. Page of swords to the four swords. As this um this person could feel defeated, you know, by watching you, but this person is going through a healing process, you know. And they are, and they want your forgiveness. They want to apologize. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you. <clears throat> Give me a card on the four swords, Holy Spirit. Four swords. The shrimp card. Give me a card on the sh yeah the Empress and Queen of Cups. Look at this now the Pentacles. Somebody is like, I'm telling you, somebody feels like you're in your power and you're shining and you're healing, and you 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 know you have like this you know this awareness that you share, and you know um somebody somebody love what you stand for. You know, maybe this person knew you from your past and, and they watched you grow so beautifully. You know, the shrimp card clean fine with the Empress to the Queen of Cups. You're very loving, caring, nurturing. You know, this person could see you as, you know, being their wife or the or the mother of their children. You know, they see you as strong, brave, confident. And now the pinnacles, you doing that by yourself? By yourself? You go on here with your bad self. <laughs> Ace of Wands. This person is very passionate about you. Very passionate about you. Anything else, Holy Spirit, before I close it out? Anything else? My beautiful collective. Anything else? It's like this person is having a hard time trying to stomach, like, you know, what they did because... Somebody felt like they was, you know, they're supposed to be on this path. What should the Six of Pentacles to the Tower? Or who they gave to? Or, or, or not given to you? Six of Wands, you know? Holding back from you. They regret that, you know? Well, Sun Seas, I'm going to get you guys some angel messages before I close it out. I didn't know it was going to be this long, but that's okay. Yeah, let's see. So this person could be being like, you know, they probably could feel down because they be being stripped of everything. But it's only, you know, the spirit wants to, to make this person hold and, and make them brand new, you know. And this person could be very stubborn and, and rejecting it. But it's all about balancing, you know, being balanced, you know. But I really feel like it was something that had to do with their heart. Look at this throat chakra. Earth Angel. Something you said, Earth Angel. Something you said. Oh, my hands look yeah, she Don't mind me. Don't mind me. You know, see, I just got to share with the mommy. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Any, give me some angel messages for my collective senses as I close this out. Thank you. Listen to your intuitive feelings. And base chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career, finances, and as your words determine your outcome. Whoever you, whoever this person is, this person regrets not listening to their intuitive feelings when it comes to you, Earth Angel. They do, okay? Because this is somebody who always thought negatives. If, if, if there was like any argument or or anything went wrong, somebody feels like, oh no, 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 it can't be my person. Oh no, 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 because they used to people just just telling them everything they want to hear. And, and never checkmate in them, you know? They used to that. You wasn't going to do that. You were sent in this person's life, I feel like, on a mission to help them, you know? This person just was thinking negative about you, Earth Angel. They ignored their intuitive feelings. The spirit was, was telling them, like, yeah, they are send their masters. They was telling them. And they, didn't, they, didn't, they wasn't listening. So I feel like you decided to cut your cords from this person. And now somebody's watching you all in your power, seeing you shining like, damn, I'm supposed to be right there shining with them. Mm -hmm. Whoever you share past life with. Yeah, past life. Clear yourself. Archangel Michael, vacuum away fear. Mm, 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 mm. 
Our angel Michael was protecting you as well. I feel like you're an angel, you know? You're a guy you were sitting to help this person. And this person was afraid of you. So maybe whatever your spiritual practices is or your intuition, just you just if you don't have a spiritual practice, you don't have to. But just your intuition, just you being sharp and on point with it, it scared this person. Because I'm like, yeah, let's get the hell out of this person. But I feel like somebody who once judged you, okay, maybe this person was around from your past when you went through your awakening, okay? But this person could be experiencing similar similar things that you went through. Mm -hmm. And they know you really only want to be there for them to understand. Y'all, anything else on this thing? Anything else? Crystals? Anything else on this thing? Sacral chakra, twin flame, fairies, you are profoundly clairvoyant. Somebody feels like you're very angelic and indigo. Mm -hmm. I feel like you bring some type of awareness. Um, you know, you, you bring some type of awareness or you make some stuff, make, making some type of shift when it comes to humanity, just uplifting them and helping them. And, 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 you, and you knowing that you want to be a change to the world. So you started with yourself when it came to whatever the spiritual practices and your intuition. You are profoundly clairvoyant. You're very angelic. And somebody is just watching you just like, damn. You're definitely a goddess, crown chakra. That's your intuition. Somebody is just seeing how you just you just standing in your power, birthing and you know, and creating. Yeah, Archangel Raphael and Power Animal. Yeah. This person is um something about the way you heal so gracefully and beautifully. It is like it has this person like in a maze, like wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I told look, I told you something about the heart chakra, right? Heart chakra and visualize success. Yeah, see, your heart is wide open. This person's heart isn't. That's why they must heal. This person wants success. They want all of this. But they don't understand that all of that is attached, attached to the heart chakra. You know? That's why spirit knows that this person is only obsessed with, like, the worldly things. That's why spirit is taking it away and stripping that person so they could go through the rebirth. I feel like you already have done that, sun seeds. And somebody is watching you and it's like, oh my goodness. But they can't sit with you or shine with you until they do the work. And that's just period. 